Hi guys, on today's video, we are going to reveal all the most interesting facts about the 2004 film, National Treasure. One of the best movies about treasure hunting, history, and adventure. Here we have 19 facts about this movie. Character named after the Founding Fathers. Ben, Patrick, and John Gates were all named after Founding Fathers, Benjamin Franklin, Patrick Henry, and John Adams. Abigail Chase is a combination of Abigail Adams, wife of John, and Samuel Chase, a signer of the Declaration of Independence and later an Associate Justice of the United States Supreme Court. Ben Gates's Watch Ben Gates wears a Rolex Submariner Date Diver's Watch, which has a price of $8,550. He uses it as collateral in the clothing store to inspect a $100 bill with which he just paid. Instant Classic The film became an instant classic after it came out. One of Ben Gates' lines, I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence, has become a meme in and of itself. It is ranked among one of the most enjoyable treasure hunt films. Charles Carroll House At the end of the movie, when Ben starts to tell Riley about the house he bought, the house actually belonged to Charles Carroll, the last surviving man who had signed the declaration. This also happens to be the man who told Ben's ancestor about the secret about the Charlotte at the beginning of the movie. Deleted Scene In a deleted scene, President Jackson arrives at the White House after Carroll dies, and the Gates boy attempts to tell the president the secret message. Jackson tells the boy that Carol was senile and told him the message before, dismissing it as an old man's ramblings. First ever footage. The movie includes footage from the first filming ever allowed in the tower of Philadelphia's Independence Hall. Back of the Declaration of Independence. The movie suggests that something is written on the back of the Declaration of Independence, it actually is true that something is written on the back. The writing reads, Original Declaration of Independence, dated 4th of July, 1776. And it appears on the bottom of the document, upside down. While no one knows for certain who wrote it, it is known that early in its life, the large parchment document was rolled up for storage. So it is likely that the notation was simply added as a label afterwards. Abraham Lincoln's Memorial Scene in the scene where Ben, played by Nicolas Cage, and Riley, played by Justin Bartha, are talking on the steps, the water in the reflecting pool in front of the Abraham Lincoln Memorial was digitally added later because the water was drained for maintenance at the time of the filming. The pool was also digitally added in Forrest Gump. Riley's Daylight Savings Clue the timely shadow clue is actually very unreliable, even with Riley's Daylight Savings Time clue, because the shadow of the sun would actually be different depending on the seasons of the year. Historically inaccurate fact. The film suggests that the Knights Templar, an order of Catholic warrior monks who are charged with defending pilgrims on the way to the Holy Land, in some way go on to become Freemasons. This is not historically accurate. The Knights Templar existed only for a short period of time from 1119 to 1312, when they were suppressed and eliminated by the European royalty. The history of the Masons is less clear, but most likely started in England at the earliest in 1390, a hundred years after the ending of the Templars. Keep the treasure away from the British. In the movie, when John Adam Gates is telling young Benjamin Franklin Gates about the treasure, he says, They knew they had to make sure the treasure would never fall into the hands of the British, so they devised a series of clues and maps to its location. The whole course of the movie involves keeping the clues and treasure away from Ian, who is British. More Trivia this is one of the few movies where Sean Bean's character does not die. In this film, Nicolas Cage stars with John Voight. He starred with his daughter Angelina Jolie in Gone in 60 Seconds. 
the car that Riley is driving at the end of the movie is a Ferrari 360 Spider. When Ben and Abigail are looking at the clock at the back of the $100 bill, it shows the time as about 2.20. That is actually correct. When they figure out the time for finding the glasses at the Independence Hall, the time is 2.22. The Liberty Bell literally cracked on George Washington's birthday, February 22. When Ben is investigating the dead-end treasure room near the end and discovers the keyhole for the Charlotte Pipe, a few bars of the underscore are from Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, from 2003. Diane Kruger did most of her own stunt work in the car chase scene. Impressive. Director John Turtletaub says that the initial rough cut was around four hours long. Here are all the facts about this movie. Let us know in the comments what are your thoughts, and if you'd like to see a video about the sequel of this movie. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for our next video. Thank you for watching.